Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a process video with an, for an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook layout using materials from the Planner Society kit from January. And this kit is absolutely gorgeous. I love the papers in this kit. This paper is um, eight and a half by 11 as well. And so I'm just cutting it at um, a diagonal. I'm just using a couple of the sheets. Actually, I think I use all of them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I use all of them. So they're all eight and a half by 11 papers and they're all double-sided and they're absolutely gorgeous. They have a bunch of florals and all of the colors coordinate beautifully together. And I just love the patterns. This pattern um, the theme is swans this month so I thought that was just so adorable um so the papers are eight and a half by 11 I think I mentioned that <laughs> and there are six sheets so there are two of each pattern so I'm just trying to figure out where I want each piece of paper to go my photo is a foreign four by four picture of my daughter. She actually has my Giglio in her hands and um, she looks like she's about to go steal it and run away with my planner and go plan. But so I did it in black and white because the colors didn't really match um, the papers from the kit, but I, I love doing black and white photos anyway. And so I wanted to kind of, I love how there's black and white paper in this. Like I absolutely love black and white paper. Um, so I wanted to incorporate that at the bottom of the page so that your eye kind of goes down across the page. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put these papers and I just take a while to do that. So after a couple minutes, I finally decide to adhere everything down and I know exactly where I want it. And I, I'm right now I'm just taking up the edges and I'm distressing it a little bit and ruffling it up. I really like that look of distressed papers and edges and stuff like that. So I'm just tearing it just a little bit and having the bottom pattern, the pattern from the other side of the piece of paper just peek out a little bit. I really like how that looks. So here I am just showing you how I went off screen and I added a little bit of stitching to the bottom and the top of the page. I, um, I used black thread, so I thought that was really nice. I love adding stitching and sewing to my pages. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which black and white pattern I wanted to use. I really loved the black and white patterns from the bags, the little paper bags that um, the stickers and all the other embellishments come in this kit. Like there was this, black and white pattern with the swans. It was so cute. I really wanted to use that as the matting of my photo, but I ended up not doing that. So I just used paper and I am just cutting out the matting here and then I'm going to layer my photo on top of it. So 
So here I'm just taking my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch and I'm using this beautiful, beautiful wood grain blue paper with the black hearts all over it. I love this paper and I'm, I'm strategically placing it so that there's a couple of hearts on the tab, but it won't get in the way of where I want my little stickers to be. Uh, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> it's really confusing to explain. But so yeah, I wanted to add a couple of tabs in there because it is planner related. This is a planner related themed layout. So um, I thought tabs were only appropriate. So now I'm just going through the beautiful, adorable die cuts um, that came with this kit. And I thought I wanted to use the Planner Society Girl, but I ended up using a this bird instead. I thought it was really, really cute. I was gonna save the girl for another layout. Um, I love all of the little florals, the little floral pieces that are in the kit as well the die cuts are so pretty so i'm just tucking it here and there and just making little clusters of um, embellishments and um, i decided that i want to do a cluster there and i love those little stack of planners it's so cute so i end up taking like a sticker and putting plan on on the front cover of that one planner So here I'm just cutting up the little word stickers that come in the kit and it just says Planner Society Girl. And I add that to the tab on top of the photo and then I'm just using these puffy hearts and I'm just gonna add a little pink heart there on the tab. And I'm gonna glue everything down. The kit also came with puffy stickers and puffy stickers are my absolute one of my absolute favorite embellishments i just love puffy stickers so i take this hello and i just cut it out of the acetate or the little plastic backing on the back because i don't know exactly where i want to put it yet and i just want to be able to move it around without sticking it down first so i cut it out like that and i'm just going to figure out how i want my main cluster to be layered i don't like that tab there so i just move it over to the left I like things to go at a diagonal, or my embellishments actually. Um, let's see. I'm just adhering that little heart there in the corner and working on my embellishment cluster. I love word stickers. I just added hashtag planner girl. So it says, hello, planner girl, make today count. And remember this, I thought it was perfect. And now I'm just taking the sequins that come in this kit as well. They're really pretty cute flowers and 
teal sequins and swans and orange and pink flowers. Oh, so, so pretty. I love it. They're so fun. So that is the end of my process video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys liked my layout. Thanks so much for watching. I will leave a link below to the Scarlet Lime website where you can order your kits and my Instagram as well. Go follow me there and you can see more pictures and photos of all of the projects and things that I'm post that I'm using with this kit. Thanks so much for watching guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.